Welcome. Great to, to be with set. you, Sarah. Thank you for having me. Yes, no, thank you for What did you do with the here. snow? <laughs> I like it better, actually. Yeah, I gotta you say. do? Yeah, I'm, I'm Team May. It's easier to walk around, right? You're not, it's not as scary, especially going up the stairs to the studio here. Well, there's heels, but not snow boots and not ice. Mark, we got to talk about the economy. Everybody here is, is wondering whether we're going into a global recession, a U.S. slowdown. You, you see what's happening in the world of IT spending. Has there been any big change? Well, I think the big change that happened is you have, uh, you know, I mean, I saw some of the quarters that happened, I guess. You know, I saw Snap did not have a very good quarter. But you know who had a great quarter? The dollar. The dollar had a great quarter. I it's say like, so, of okay. <laughs> no, the dollar had a great quarter. Dollar and so when you look at what's happening with the dollar um, against the yen, the dollar against the euro, you look at these exchange rates, wow, the dollar's having a great quarter since the sec about the second week of March. And it's all anchored to uh, these uh, interest rates. So our Fed Reserve is doing hiking. some very aggressive, not just hiking as much as narratives mm. and emotional, I think, content that has really uh, got, the, uh, got everybody thinking how many trillions of dollars is exiting the equity market. And uh, that's what everyone's holding on to. Well, what's moved in the opposite direction of the dollar has been tech stocks, which are right in the, in the crosshairs of, of some of these changes on interest rates and the economy, including your own stock has gotten really beaten up now at the lowest level since summer of 2020. Are the fundamentals of the business changing? Well, our business isn't changing, but you can certainly see that when the Fed <laughs> raises rates, the market is going to come down and grow stocks are going to come down. I mean, of course, our stock has you know, been up 3,800% since we went public in 2004. And I've also seen a lot of these kinds of uh, shenanigans from uh, different central banks over the, um, over the many decades that I've been doing this. And look, in, in 2001, we almost lost our company because of a situation very similar to this. Mm. We, we had never seen anything quite like it. We were just starting out, and we had to make fundamental changes to our business model. It made us much stronger. I would say Salesforce was born in the 2001 recession. We had started the company in 99, but it wasn't until we saw what the reality of what can happen when the Federal Reserve gets involved that we said, oh, we need to make changes to our core business model. Do you see other sort of dot-com bus parallels with what's going on in tech right now? Well, I'm mentoring these CEOs and I'm telling them there's things they must do right now. Number one, they must move to long-term contracts. For CEOs who have customers with month-to-month -month contracts, which is kind of like what we had in 2001, which is hard to believe 21 years ago, it's very scary because you don't know if the customer is going to be around. So move to, move to annual or multi-annual contracts, get the cash in advance, secure your relationships with your customers, don't allow this kind of short-term volatility to affect your revenue or your cash flow. Ultimately, one of the reasons you saw such strong cash flow from Salesforce last year, we did more than $6 billion in positive cash flow, is changes we made in 2001 because of an environment just like this. And I'm telling CEOs who are trying to build businesses, they need to take this very seriously. We've seen some of the younger companies that have been extremely volatile in the market already, already start to pause hiring, cut costs. We've seen it from Uber. We've seen it from Robinhood. Is, is that is that something that you're looking at in this environment? You it's have like to look at everything. Down. You yeah. have to look at everything. Mm -hmm. You're looking at a very unusual global situation where you have these rising interest rates here and then volatility in foreign exchange. And when you have those two things happening, you have to look at everything. That's the smart thing to do.